Hey, what is up everybody? Platform Disciple here, and I am back from my little holiday vacation. I got to see my friends and my family, and it was a lot of fun, but that is why I had not been creating and uploading videos over the past week and a half or so. Uh, I hope everyone else had a great holiday season, and for those of you who weren't celebrating the holidays, I hope you found some time to relax, or maybe you made a little extra money at work. Point is, Happy New Year to everyone. Hope everyone's, you know, had a, a good past couple weeks. And we have a couple changes that have happened while I've gone. One is the music volume bug has been fixed, thank goodness, and also a huge relief is the chat window bug has been fixed. Wow, thank goodness. And in the store we have an alternate art Christmas taiga uh, for those of you who want it, but I already opened four of them and didn't get any alternate art taigas, so I'm I'm done opening these. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too frustrated with it to open anymore. And today, because we have nothing serious planned, we're doing a just for fun deck, really weird one. And the point of the deck, as I'm gonna get into, is we use Gohan, who starts on the battlefield in the defense zone. He costs three, and evilly, lets us remove a deployed character from the game for the cost of one uh, to recruit another character that costs uh, one more than that or below. Uh, so the whole point of this deck is that we have Gohan and we can get rid of him on turn one and swap him for Shirazius, who is a 15-14 uh, that is going to be able to attack by turn two. Kind of a big deal, kind of hilarious. Uh, and we're using Enya just to give us a lot of crazy options. I don't think the deck's very good, but it's a very wild and cool new idea. Uh, I saw someone else do this whole, whole Gohan thing, and I really liked it, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, this is not this is not a serious deck, and if you're wondering, like, oh, what cards should I include? Uh, the only important ones are Gohan, Evilly, and Shirazius. The rest of the deck I have filled up with favorites uh, of mine and cards that I just think are pretty decent. So, like, if you're wondering, like, oh, do I need a uh, do I need a Princess Hinnikri for this deck? The answer is no. Put in whatever the heck you want. This deck is just a goofball deck. So, we're gonna hop into a game and just show you how it performs. So here we are in game. Our our opening hand should come at some point. I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, there we go. Weird. Um, and look at this. I think Regicide will kill Gohan. So we're, we might go for that instead of using Evilly. And next turn we can use Lightning Blast on the Chef and get Shirazia. So let's try that. Oh, wait. This isn't going to kill our own, is it? Okay, it's your opponent's. All right, so let's go for it. Come on. No! <laughs> Shoot, it didn't work. Um, all right, well, it was it was for science. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and do the strategy as per usual. So the reason I, I thought Regicide would work is because he does move from the command zone um but i guess uh i guess regicide only works if they actually played it i don't know but we got the chef and we've got our shirazius so we have done what we want to do and we're gonna go ahead and put out um contained parallel rift another fun weird card that's just gonna get our our game go and we get to we get to see a very large variety of cards oh he he shut down evilly which is just too bad um and i might use unstoppable here because i think i think this is one of our better opportunities to use it and we're going to use research to increase our overall hand size um evilly i guess you could say already we already got her to do what we wanted her to do but it'd be really nice if we could use her to get other characters out of our deck in particular this is the only deck that i have found that time for fun is actually justifiable in and time for fun is the one cost card that shuffles i think 20 
additional cards into your deck, random ones. Uh, and the reason it works here is because we have nothing below uh, four cost for characters. Oh, pacify, that's too bad. Um, so, oh, I think we're gonna humble our own Shirazius here. Uh, but we have nothing below uh, four cost. So time for fun puts stuff into our deck that we can actually use evilly to get. Whereas right now we don't have anything uh, cost efficient to get with evilly. And we're going to use uncontrolled parallel rift, which doesn't really do much for us just because we have the uh, temporal uh, or <laughs> whatever the heck it is called. So that was kind of cool that we got to use this that way. Um, it's called Contained Parallel Rift. Okay, uh, we might we might do um, Primal Rage. He might give his guy an extra life. We could just give our guy an extra life, uh, or we could we could infest. I think I'm gonna play the egg, and we're gonna try to infest. Uh, wait a minute, four less from all sources. I don't know. Um, why don't we play the egg and we'll do second wind? That just seems very safe. So his gets an extra life. Uh, let's boost our guy. And let's play death ray, maybe? I don't know. Now let's, let's play Princess Henecree. Get her working for us. Uh, right now, Shirazius is not going to die to either of these, which is good. Um, so we can just let this kind of happen. Jin High Ambush, that's kind of not something we wanted to see. All right. Um, we'll put Prince, Princess Henecree back here. Uh, we could we could play Ju Lin just to get him doing his thing. He's kind of fun, not very good, uh, but I like him, so we'll play him. And, and like I said, this deck is just for fun. I think Ju Lin is pretty much objectively horrible. Uh, so <laughs> I, I can't tell anyone, uh, I can't tell anyone that this card's actually good because it's not. I wish I could say it's good, but it really isn't. Um, Ghosts of the Ancestors is proving to be really, really annoying for us. Uh, it's really too bad that I used Humble so recklessly on Shirazius, uh, but what can you do? I think I'm going to draw a card. Oh, this this is not bad. Um, I don't know if we want to use it this turn, though, and if we don't use it this turn, it goes away. So uh, we could red tape, but mm, I don't know. Yeah, why, don't, why don't we just red tape? It's hard to tell like what exactly the, the best move for this deck is, but uh, one cool thing about Julin is it forces him to just do something. Like he has to actually kind of be a little more aggressive. Um, acquire seems good in this case. Uh, and Disease Brute will really help against um, host the ancestors because uh, it's gonna shrink it. And Julin, I'm wondering if we should even bother defending him with Shirazius. Shirazius uh, is pretty worthless, but he, he has a high morale cost, so maybe keeping him alive for longer is good. I just don't have any way to get him killed without losing morale. I can, I can play the Calamity. It's like the best thing I've got. Okay, so time for fun. That's kind of cool. Uh, we also have Purify, and I might use that on Humble. It only gets rid of one of his cards, but I don't want to see any more of it. Ever. Mm. We'll infest this, and I think we're going to defend our guys like this. And we can actually use Shirazius to, <laughs> to block his flying character. And we will time for fun. Uh, cause why the heck not? Uh, I, I mean, there's actually a very good reason why not, but I don't care. Uh, and we'll get humble back into our deck because we've already proven, uh, several times over that we don't, 
we, we kind of need that card. All right, so he has he has the urn now, which is kind of rough for us because we I don't I mean our decks got a lot of weird stuff in it, so I don't know if we have a way to deal with it. And we also played time for fun, so who knows? Um, hmm. And this guy needs six chapters, so I guess I guess we win before Shunhel's urn does its thing. But I don't know. I'm gonna draw a card. Uh, not, nice thing about time for fun, the plat one is all the cards that come out are plat. Uh, it doesn't really do anything useful for you, but it's just fun. And that's really too bad that we got just a 14-14 for waiting so long. Um, it's got three lives. I don't feel like we're ever going to kill that thing. Um, I can use Adaptive Ritualist to get something back. Giving a second life to Julin might not be bad. I'm, I'm not sure if that protects him from the... I, I don't know if that protects his chapters or not, is what I mean to say. But, I don't know. Um, We'll do this. I, I really want to protect Julin. We might be able to win the game with him, which would be super fun. Um, yeah, let's just end the turn. So he's got Daude, the the avatar of Daude, which is kind of scary. Spiritualize is a very easy way for us to deal with that. Um, I'm certain it's going to come out on the battlefield. The other thing is that I can use Spiritualize to take care of host the ancestors. Uh, and Dragon Collar would be so fun to get one of his guys with, but I think Spiritualize on the Avatar is the right decision. Uh, and we will, will we play Martyr Golem or will we play Tyra? I think we're gonna play, or we could even play Rampant Virus. That could be fun. Yeah, we'll do Rampant Virus. Uh, and I think we're just gonna leave it at that. I could play Evilly as just a straight up character. There's no harm in doing that, I guess. It's another thing to protect uh, Ju Lin. Okay, so that's good. Oh, that's too bad. But we we did spiritualize the avatar, which is which was our goal. Shirazius is actually doing something for us, sort of, which is kind of cool. Um, okay, great. We got. We have Kidnapper now, which is good. We also have Rancid. Rancid is freaking amazing. Uh, so he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six right now, actually. So maybe it's not that amazing. Uh, we're going to use Daude and get some more health for our characters. Um, it might be... I need to kill these is the thing. And I did get my Humble here, which is good. Uh, so... I could humble that, and then we don't have to deal with its 10 bazillion lives. Um, and I think I'm going to draw a card. Ooh. The Impervious, that's kind of cool. Might might help us at some point. And no more lives for that thing. Thank you. And we're at five chapters. Five chapters. Is there any, what? What can he do to stop this? Is it at the end of this turn? When Julian has six chapters, you win the game. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use primal. We're gonna we're gonna take out this. It's the one of his higher attack characters. We're going to Primal Rage evilly because it has a lot of health right now, or she has a lot of health right now. And Tyra doesn't really do anything for us, but she's got stats. Uh, and Jinhai Ambush, I believe, is going to put them behind uh, Julin, which is not what we want. And... Yeah, so we'll play Tyra. And now we, we we hope and pray to Ju Lin. 
And uh, for those of you who are wondering why I didn't primal rage Julin, the answer is that uh, uh, Julin, if he's gonna if he's gonna die this turn, it's probably gonna be because he gets I don't know. I, I don't even know how they kill him at this point. Uh, I think I've won because um, spiritualize is the only way they can get rid of him as far as I could tell. And and there you go. Uh, <laughs> so that is that is the deck. Uh, that is also the first time I've ever won a game with Ju Lin, I think. Um, so it's a fun one. Uh, I, I seriously recommend you all who are looking for a goofy fun deck to try out using Evilly and Gohan together. Uh, and there's a diff there's a few different ways you can do it. I tried using Pross. That's a kind of fun one to get out early, but let's see what all of you can do with it. And until next time, everyone, peace out.